Shalom, Akim. We the brothers from the SF Bay Area camp coming at you with another in transit lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Blessed with another week to teach this beautiful word. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Salutations to all you I came through the four corners of the earth that's preaching this word in sincerity and the truth. And shalom to all you believers that believe on this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to you. And I'm the brother Manatzak and I got with me. I'm the brother Shamar. You know, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, we're blessed with another week to teach this beautiful word. You know, and Lord's will, we're going to keep the sin that we have going, that we say when we start these entrance and lessons off with. We one day closer to our enemy Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's downfall. And we one day closer to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai's return on the earth, you know. And as you know, me and the brother was having a conversation before we started the lesson. You can clearly see that we at the end of this thing, man. We at the end of Babylon the Great, aka America, aka Esau, Edom's kingdom, his reign of terror on the earth. And a clear sign that we're at the end is the plagues that the Lord is smiting this earth with. Ever since this year 2024 started, it's been nothing but a uh, uh, hell breaking loose, you know? From the, the recent things that had just occurred, that bridge collapsing, you know, to the, the morals of the people are just gone, you know? Everything that's happening is leading up to the downfall of the society. So, Lord's will, we are, being, we are to be in the mind frame of not being comfortable in the society because. This society is going down and we are to depart from this place. So mentally, I'm going to get this. Uh, this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, and we ain't supposed to depart physically because there's no escaping the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. You're supposed to arise and depart spiritually, you know, because this plate was well, going to go into it. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And you can clearly see that clear as day in the times that we live in it now. This place is literally polluted. All this stuff, all the wickedness that we've been speaking on that goes on behind the scenes is literally being brought to light. Yep. You got regular uh, regular people from that industry or whatever exposing all the stuff that we've been saying happening. But then um, now you have them speaking on it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key, a key example is, which that's nothing but a distraction to keep your mind away from what's really going on. But the, the main thing they're pushing now is that that uh, ABC dude did it, the Diddler, you know, going around uh, <laughs> like uh, what's some uh, Cat Williams was you, you a part of this shit too, Cat? But he said sometimes you got to tell him no, you know. <laughs> this nigga Diddy being exposed for being what well, we've been new, you know, being the ABC community uh, uh, affiliate. Which we know to be in that industry, you have to um, do left hand side things to gain that power. You know, that, what's that demon? It was Alistair Crawley said that the, they said the highest form of sexual magic is to uh, to actually do homosexual acts, you know, particularly on a young male. So they uh, actually corrupt Jake's mind with the uh, the philosophies of wickedness because Jake look at it as if to be successful, you got to follow his way. Well, the scriptures tell us the opposite, you know? Yeah. Matter of fact, let me get that. Yeah, and that's why you gotta rise and depart, because, like, this this society is really just set up to defile you, ultimately. If, you, if you're if you the type of person who want to, like the uh, scriptures say, you're supposed to lose your life in order to gain your life in your hour shy, if you're actually the type of person who's, like, sacrificing all your time and energy and effort to make it in this society, all you're doing is like really you're gonna end up defiling yourself because that's ultimately what you have to do in order to, to gain in order for you to gain in the wickedest world you have to do wickedness because what does it tell you job 9 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked now for us that depart from the what from the um the ways of esau you know the wickedness this is um isaiah 59 and 15. yea true faileth and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, and this, that's why they they make it uh, make this seem like this is the worst thing ever out there as far as like what we speak, the truth. Bringing out the scriptures. They paint us like we're the worst thing going in society, but then here it is, like the brother was saying, you got all type of other things being exposed right now 
shouldn't that be considered uh, looked at as more being more wicked? But they'll look at what we do worse than that, you know? Yeah, yeah because we live in a wicked world and wickedness, wickedness is exalted and righteousness is looked down upon. Mm -hmm. But by us departing from this world, we make ourselves a prey because now we're um, connected back with Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and now the demons, spiritual demons, Satan and the demons are, are out to bring us back, you know, yeah. to the world. And that's where the fight comes in. That's why when we come into this truth, we realize that we're in a spiritual fight because everything starts with this fourth dimension, the spiritual world, and it, it goes on down to the, what, the physical world. So you see these people doing these wicked acts, they really have demons on them. It's an it's a actual thought that gets inside of them, a demon, and they act on that thought, which brings forth the wickedness, which brings forth death. So by us departing from the, the uh, ways of wickedness, now them demons are trying to bring you back. That's why the scriptures say when you fall out the uh, truth, you, you pretty much, when you come into the truth, you become a new man born again, and those demons that were on you leave, you know? Whether you was a nigga in the world gang banging, you had the gang bang demon on you, whether you was just a, a simple ass Jake, you know, eating pork. When you come into the truth, you realize that those are things that you shouldn't be doing according to the law, according to the will of Yahweh Bashmah Shah. So you put that away. Mm -hmm. Which what? That means those demons have left you. You may have been a Jake that loved to get your hair lined up. When you come to re realization, that's a sin according to the uh, laws of Yahweh Bashmah Shah. So you get that demon off you. Stop lining your uh, hair. You don't have the desire to fulfill the ways of this world. So. When you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey because now those demons try to draw you back to the world, which means if you draw back to the world, like the scriptures say, seven more demons more wicked than their, their selves come upon you. And now you left, you, you came into the truth. You was just a regular nigga, you know, out there partying, smoking and drinking. You leave the truth. Now the demons got you being a damn transsexual, you know? Yeah, we say, you know? That's how, that's how real this thing is. You got something? Uh, this, is a, uh, this is John chapter 15, verse 19. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, so by us departing from the ways of this world, we're hated. Because if we were of the world, if we were doing the wicked things of this world, the world would love us. Ooh, we would fit right in, you know? But because we depart from the ways of wickedness, we are hated for you. And really, it's not us they hate. It's the spirit that's in us, the spirit of Yahweh Bashmah Shah, the spirit of righteousness. Where wickedness and righteousness are two opposing forces. Yeah. You got it out. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Yeah, Yahweh Bashmah Shah chose us. Lord's will, we can be of that great number, the elect. He chose us out of this world. You know, so by us being chosen out of the world, the Lord is supping with us. The spirit of Yahweh Bashmah Shai is uh, revealing his secrets unto us. Surely the Lord God would do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets. We got the understanding of the scriptures. You got it out. Therefore, the world hateth you. Therefore, the world hateth you. So it ain't it's, it ain't really you per se. Like you go out and about, people give you dirty looks and just things aren't going your way. It's those evil spirits that are attached to these people that are, are coming against you because you have departed from evil. Which, like we read, make it yourself a prey. What are you asking? Oh, yeah. I had a, 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 another one after. Uh, there. This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and uh, 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? That's why us departing from evil, we're not worried about this world. Because everything that's in this world, that these people are doing all types of wicked acts to achieve, you know, financial gain, pleasures of the flesh, it's all going to be done away with by what? The thermal nuclear missiles via what? World War III, which is prophesied all throughout the Bible. Revelation chapter 18, you know, Isaiah 34, all, all types of scriptures. Job, the 20th chapter, where it speaks about the downfall of uh, Babylon the Great, aka America. The elements that we see around us are going to be melted. Just like that movie Terminator 2. You seen Sarah Connor holding on to that gate and she seen the nuclear missiles get uh, shot off and explode. And what happened? Her whole body dissolved. That That's literally going to happen right here in Babylon the Great. You got it out. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, so in all holy conversation and godliness, meaning your mind should be in this truth, in the scriptures. 
praying, fasting, meditating, doing what's commanded of us to do according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, you know? So, you got it out. Yep, it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, Yahweh Shah to get his glory in this earth and bring what? Righteousness to the earth and take out the wicked man, the man of sin. The son of perdition, Esau, eat him out of power. Because the reason why wickedness is everywhere is because the wicked man is in power. You know? You got it out. Yeah, it says, looking for and hastening into the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, the elements are going to melt with fervent heat by what? Them thermonuclear missiles. You got it out. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's where our minds are geared to. We we don't look for the things in this, in this world. As two thirds of our people do selling out, you know, becoming a, w evil and wicked to gain temporary um, wealth. And ultimately, what's the end of any Israelite? Destruction. Hell, look at the Diddler, you know. <laughs> He's been blasting. He probably did something to go against the grain and Esau cut uh, Pull the pull the um the card on the nigga, you know, because all all the celebrities get down like that dude. He ain't then he ain't nothing special. It's just that they got the spotlight on him right now. But all the celebrities get down, you know. You got it out. It says, "Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless." Yeah, be diligent, so occupy in prophecy, occupy in his truth. So when Yahweh Shai returns on the earth, you could be found without spot and blameless, meaning he could find a clean vessel, you know, worthy of salvation. So our, our minds are geared to what departing from this wicked world because this wicked world is going to be destroyed and everything in it. You got it out. That, that was it. Yeah, that was pretty much it. And, yeah. uh, well, I was going to read the NLT for the last verse. In the NLT for uh, 2 Peter 3 and 14, it says, And so, dear friends, while ye, while you are waiting for these things to happen, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives that are pure and blameless in his sight. And that's like the brother was saying, that's the type of lives we should we should be aiming to live, you know? Be as as uh being as righteous as possible, doing doing the righteous works as, as much as possible, you know, living uh the righteous lifestyle. Cause this is a lifestyle doing everything that we do yeah live living the life that's required of us as israelites you know mm -hmm. this is our heritage this is what the heavenly father yahweh bashim al shai created us to do on the earth to be righteous to keep his commandments the scriptures tell you that this is the whole duty of a uh, man to fear the most high and keep his commandments that's what we're here on the earth to do uh, you got people searching for the purpose of life why am i here that's the reason why the israelites are here the so-called blacks Latinos and Native Americans We're not here to be wicked That's Esau's job We're here to fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Fear him And keep his commandments This is the whole duty of men Now we understand that Being in the flesh We can't keep it 100% Because we're in the chains of darkness But that's where the mercy uh, Of Yahweh Shai comes in Because he shed his blood Over 2,000 years ago So that we can have a, um, An atonement for our sins You know So now We, we have a mediator Which is Yahweh Shai and that really starts off for the elect because the two thirds they're going to get their um glory coming back through the seed of the one third you know the elect so they have to die via the fire the same must know it at the death by pain but us on this side the lord's will be, will be of the elect who would be brought through the fire be by what the chastisement of the lord that's why if jake go off and do wickedness what happens and you uh, you do it, you know, the Lord gets you quick because scriptures say whom the Lord loves he chasteneth. But that's where the repentance is and the mercy is because, you know, the scriptures say just man fall of seven times but get back up. We don't sin willfully, of course. You don't just go out there and commit sin and, and say, oh, I, I, I got forgiveness through your house shot. But we try to do the best to keep the commandments to the best of our abilities because the scriptures say we in the uh, land of um, our captivity, we shall rehearse the righteous acts. In the land of the uh, undrawn water. Matter of fact, let me get that. What's that, Judges? Yep. 5 and 11? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, let me get it real quick so I can just... Uh, yeah, Judges 5 and 11. Because we can't keep the um, commandments perfectly, but we're going to keep them perfectly when Yahweh Shah returns and changes us. So let me get that. Here we go, Judges 5. Judges chapter 5. 
verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing waters, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Basically talking about here, you know, and the drawing water representing, um, you know, uh, slavery. Mm -hmm. But this is the, the land that is talking about where we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. And that's why, like the brother was saying, we don't sin willfully. Like, we, first and foremost, we in these chains of darkness, uh, which is these bodies. All right, so these bodies aren't, there are, they aren't perfect. You know, like the bodies that we're going to have in the kingdom, those bodies are going to be perfect, made in the image of Yahweh Hashem Shai, to where we don't even go off. Yeah, that's when we're going to be perfect and never sin. But right now, it's the learning experience of going off and what comes from that, which is Yahweh Hashem Shai's judgment. Mm -hmm. So it says, They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So when you're rehearsing something, you're practicing. To get it right, like yeah. you have a, uh, a show, a play to let's say you're an actor, you have a play to um to, to put on, you know, you, you rehearse your parts, your lines, so that when it's showtime, you get it right, you know. Showtime is gonna be when your Howard Shaw returns and he finds that uh, um that um the uh, vessel without spot and blameless, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're rehearsing, we're trying to do the things to the best of our ability, but ultimately we have mercy through the blood of your Howard Shaw, and that starts with the elect. It says shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his village in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Now let me get, um, let me get this. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse uh, 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah, because everything in the world is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So if you love the world, there's no way possible for you to love uh, the Heavenly Father. Because mm -hmm. everything in the world is literally set up to be contrary to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, everything in this world is based upon being wicked. Yep. You know? It's based upon going against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So if you are uh, into this world and succeeding in this world, more likely you're wicked, you know? Just to be frank, just to be um, yeah. blunt with it, you know? It's like obviously different levels to it, but at the end of the day, you have to be cool with it. Yeah. Like if you want to, even for a so-called regular job, you want to keep moving up the ladder and like maintain a, a high position or whatever, you got to be cool. Like you got to watch what you say. You got you got to treat everybody so-called um, nice or with, with respect, even if it's an alphabet person or yeah, a person yeah. that's committing wickedness. Yeah, you got to be just okay with everything. You yeah, know? you got to be okay with everything. So it's like at the end of the day, you still have to you have to really get your hands dirty, so to speak. Yeah, then after a while, you become corrupt. Now yeah. you the things that are uh, morally not right according to the scriptures. You oh, it's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, long as they don't come my way, you turning your eye, you turning your eye at wickedness. Like instead of you condemning it and um, you know, speaking against it, now you do, you keep quiet. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't say anything. So if you love this world, then you're an enemy of your Howard Bosch Shah. We're the to hate this world. Mm -hmm. and the scriptures say, hate the evil, love the good. Love not the world, because this is Esau's world. And the Most High said, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. The Most High hates the Edomites, the so-called white men. They're the, they're the enemies, the adversary of, of Yahweh Bosh Malshai. They're against his, his, his way. So we to hate this place. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Yeah, and those, all those things are of the world. Because that's all it is based upon. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Yep. And for like the brother was saying, for you to obtain everything, the as far as whether it's the lust of the eyes, you want the a car, the house, the money, yep. or you want the woman, this and that, you gotta be you gotta corrupt yourself. You basically basically things of the flesh, pleasures of the flesh, you know? Mm -hmm. You want a nice big house, you want that uh, nice luxury car, you know, you want the beautiful women, you know, you want you wanna live a comfortable lifestyle. Yep. Which this shit is gonna pass away, it's temporary. You know, I mean, we all wanted those things as Israelites. We desire to have nice things because in our spirit. Mm -hmm. But we got to realize it's a time and place for everything. We gonna get that in righteousness on the on the next side, which is when the kingdom is uh, heaven is established. You know, we gonna get the pleasures. The scriptures say it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Delight thyself in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. But we're gonna get it the correct way. Which is what? Through the sufferings. Mm -hmm. Just like Yahweh Shah, he got his glory through what? Through the sufferings. 
We have to be brought low in order to be, um, be exalted. So we're not, that's where we started off, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is Esau's rest. Yeah. This is his world. He was given the uh, uh, earth for temporary. So this is his time to do his, uh, the will of the father on the left-hand side, which is be wicked. And ultimately receive the judgment of the wicked, which is what, thermonuclear missiles, and ultimately going into slavery for a thousand years, and ultimately extermination. So for the Israelites, starting with the elect, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away in the lust thereof. That's what's getting ready to happen. We at that point in time where it is where it was getting ready to pass away. So there's no point in you, uh, you know, basing your whole life around it. You yeah. know, everything we see is gonna be gone. The the big house, the mansion you want it gone. That fancy car you want it gone. The Bugatti gone, burnt up. Yeah, everything. You know? the, the fancy clothes you want it, you know, gone. The money that you want to get. Yeah, gone. Well, they're going to implement the, uh, the yeah. karagma, you know? So you got to corrupt yourself at some point. You want to maintain that lifestyle and everything else. You got to corrupt yourself at yeah. the end of the day, you know? So we separate. We we are to separate from that because we have something greater, a greater glory. Mm -hmm. It says, for the world passes away and the lust of world, so everything we see is going to pass away. It's going to be done away with. Like you read on uh, Peter's, yeah. the element shall melt with fervent heat. It says, now this is the point, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai abideth forever. Yeah, and that's that's why we we sacrifice and all that so that we can have that eternal rest mm -hmm. and abide forever. Yeah. Not on this side, on the other side. And let's say you do obtain uh, glory on this side, you still in a fucked up body. You know, look at your top international banking family. You still gotta be around a uh, alphabet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, at the end of the day, like you gotta, you still, even if you got all that. You try to go out and enjoy yourself. You still gotta see, see, uh, you know, see and hear wickedness. Yeah. You can't stop it. So eventually, that shit just corrupt you. You know. So now let me get this, and we can end it on this. Matthew's chapter nineteen, verse twenty-seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Yeah. So he's asking, What shall he receive for sacrifice and everything? Because like the brother was just speaking on every, you know, Jake, typically in your mind before you came into truth, you want to strive to be successful, high level in this society or whatever. But they they were willing, they were asking, what are we going to get for basically giving up that so-called dream, trying yeah. to be something in this society? Yeah, brothers had promising careers, musicians, you know, brothers wanted to be top level uh, uh, artists, you know, brothers was in, the, in, in top level positions playing for the NFL playing for um, the NBA, you know, brothers had to let, let that go because it's, it's all corruptible. Because at the end of the day, what you have to do, you have to corrupt yourself to gain more riches. So eventually, when we caught into this truth, we let it all go, knowing that we're going to get something greater. Knowing that the Heavenly Father said he's a power that doesn't uh, lie. He's going to exalt us on levels that we can't even imagine. Like the scriptures say, eyes have not seen nor ears have heard. He's going to give us eternity. Make us immortal, superhuman. Imagine that you can enjoy life in a body that can't get sick, can't get tired, can't get weak. You're basically Superman with superpowers, with a perfect mind. That's what's coming to the Lord's elect. You know, so it says, Then Peter, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you that Ye which have followed me in the regeneration, meaning the reincarnation back in the flesh, the same spirits over 2,000 years ago are back in the flesh, doing, the, doing what they were doing over 2,000 years ago, preaching his word, being servants of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, because believe you me, it's coming. Mm -hmm. You see what's going on with, throughout the world. This is all leading up to Yahweh Shai receiving the throne of his glory. The second coming is coming. You better believe. Scriptures say every eye shall see him. Yahweh Shai will be here very soon to get, to claim his glory and pursuing the Romans, the um, eighth chapter, making all the 144,000 elect and the one third that scattered throughout the earth joint heirs with him to actually be in, um, joint heirs and inherit that promise of everlasting life. Now it says, 
Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yep. So that's what we sacrificed for, to, to inherit all the glory and and the power on the other side. Mm -hmm. Being being in that position of power, judging the twelve tribes, you know, because it's going to be levels even within the kingdom, you know, as far as like the uh, the regular people of Israel, then you got the elect, then you got Yahweh Shai. It's like there's levels to <coughs> yeah, it's it. levels, like you got Yahweh Shai, you have the twelve. Yeah, but then you got the Apostle Paul. There's different levels in order to how the Heavenly Father created um, the spirits on the earth, the rank of, mm -hmm. of Israel. So by us judging the 12 tribes of Israel, meaning that we're going to be uh, setting things in order. Okay, you group of uh, Israelites, you go over to the earth and set this out up. You group of Israelites, you go over to that side of the earth, set that up. We're going to be pretty much the elect Lord's will. We're going to be the, um, the governments, the governing body of making decisions on how things take place within the kingdom, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like you got your rulers of today, they make the decisions and then it trickles on down through the, through the ranks and things happen. Whether you, whether you got to go through the city to get a, a permit to get a building built, you know, you got to go up the ranks. It, or, you know, it's, it's different levels. So that it's going to be the same way in the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be different uh, orders being given out to get things flowing in the kingdom because the kingdom ain't going to be just us chilling all day we got scripture say we're going to be a nation of um a uh, uh, priest gods and priests so we're going to be ministering the law to the other heathen nations that can't keep the law 100 percent. because that when the yahweh shah returns the main uh governing um what's going to govern the earth is the law the laws the statutes and commandments so because at that point yahweh shah the will of the father the will of yahweh will be implemented through the um yahweh shah and the elect so it says, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wives or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to receive on the other side, not on this side. That's why we're making those sacrifices now so that we can receive those things later. Yeah, because believe you me, it's coming. You know, believe you me, everything we read in the Bible is going to manifest the prophecies will take place. The Lord's elect will be changed, become gods, receive superpowers, come down on the earth like Black Adam, like um, Superman, and take the, take over the earth and establish the righteous kingdom, you know? And enslave all the other heathen nations. But it says, but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. And you see an example of that with two thirds of our people. And once they was on top, now they being brought down, you know, and, and go higher up. You seeing an example of that with your, um, your elites right now. They're on top. They have the rulership and the mastery of the earth and wickedness. But pretty soon in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be last. And the people that you look at is last, the lowest people of the earth, which we're, we're really the highest people in, in the eyes of Yahweh Basham al Shah, the Israelites. We're going to be first. We're going to have the rulership. And authority and power to govern the earth in righteousness, you know, to actually have the authority to make decisions to change things in the earth for to for the will of Yahweh Shemal Shah to be fulfilled, you know. Everything is gonna be in complete order and everything is gonna be in complete righteousness, as the scriptures say, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. That's when the earth is gonna be and uh, pretty much go back to how it was in Genesis, I die, I mean a paradise. Because we're gonna set the earth and make decisions, perfect decisions of a God and righteousness to make things happen within the earth to, for the earth to flourish. Put the animals where they need to be. Put the people of the nations where they need to be, you know? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a kingdom of just nothing but pure righteousness, you know? And that's what we striving for. That's Lord's will. We be of that great number, the hopeful elect. We can actually see Yahweh Shah return and, and obtain that glory, you know? And then, unless you had anything, Oh, that's what, like that's what we're looking for, like the scripture saying, um, in you know, Second Peter, you know, looking forward and hastening to that day, because mm -hmm. this world is doesn't matter if you got all the riches and all that. It's it's still wickedness, mm -hmm. controlled by wicked, the spirit of wickedness. Yeah, you this, know, this world is evil. It's not right, and it's going down. You know, sin, sin can only lead to death, but righteousness leadeth to life, and that's what we're seeking for. We want to be completely righteous, and that's not going to happen until Yahweh Shah returns. Mm -hmm. You know, so Lord's will. This lesson was edifying. We want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakudash. Shalom. Shalom.